good afternoon. For those of you who don't know, my name is Maya Karen. I run a fashion blog called Classically Kept. It does feature luxury, contemporary, and how to style and now natural hair care. So if you are into any of those things, please consider subscribing to my channel and then clicking the notification bell. That way you will never miss a video. So today's video is kind of going to be just like maintenance. We are going to talk about tailoring. Tailoring when it comes to your clothing. So first, one of, I guess, the first things that I want to press upon is that if you don't take anything else away from any of my videos, I want you to focus on this one because I feel like sometimes tailoring is not explained or it's not talked about in the process of your wardrobe. And it is very important simply because tailoring a piece to you can make it look just can make it just that it looks like it was made for you it can take a piece that may be too big or too tight in some areas tailoring it can make it fit to a t it can make you look like a million bucks small tweaks when it comes to tailoring can take let's say a dress from Zara and make it look like it's custom, make, look, make it look like it's a million dollars, make it look like that some atelier in Paris made it just for you. So let me give you a couple of tips or a couple of reasons, I guess, why. I actually, whenever, especially whenever I'm buying like a piece or like a contemporary piece, I actually, in my budget, I put in tailoring. It is that important. Also, because I am a petite woman, a lot of the things that I buy are going to be big. So two things that I do want to point out as far as tailoring is concerned and when you are shopping, even in luxury houses or when you are shopping when something is mass produced. So when you walk into a store, for instance, J. Crew, Macy's, and I'm going to keep this on contemporary brand. I am not really a person that um, tailors fast fashion. And what I mean by that is like your Uniqlo um she in i don't shop at these places but like she like like your your fast fashion like you pay 30 dollars or 20 dollars for a dress because tailoring can be expensive so if i pay 20 dollars for a dress i don't want to pay 30 or 40 dollars for it to be tailored okay so i'm talking like your more contemporary brands and, and quality type so you walk into J. Crew, you walk into Banana Republic, you walk into Macy's and you find this dress that you absolutely love. Um, for reference, I'm 5'2 and I weigh 105 pounds. So currently I wear an extra small, okay? And what I mean by that is there is a range. So even though I am 5'2, even though I weigh 105 pounds and even though I wear an extra small, I would probably say anywhere from, and of course it also depends on your body shape, it's made for the masses, so even though it's an extra small, it's going to be a range. It's not just going to be for a person who wear or who weighs 105 pounds. So I would probably say the extra small is going to range anywhere from, I would say 105. Now, it might be a stretch to go all the way to 115 because that is 10 pounds. So I'll say from 105, comfortably fit from 105 to 110. And then depending on how someone's body is shaped, it could probably go all the way all the way up to, I would say about 115. They might be in the small range, again, depending on their body shape. So I'm saying this because there is nothing wrong with your body. It's just that when you go into a store, you are buying a piece that has been mass produced and it has to fit a range of bodies within that size, okay? The next thing is that sometimes you can actually buy a piece, like let's say again, you walk into Macy's Banana Republic and you wear a size two. They are out of a size two, but they have a four. It's close enough in your size that you can actually take it to a tailor and then they will actually bring it down to you. And again, it'll look like it's been tailored to you. The flip side to that is if you wear a size two and you go into the store and they don't have a two or a four, don't go for a six or an eight because when you bring it to the tailor, it just might be so big that it's actually going to cost you more because number one, it's just it's just too big for them to bring it down to your size. Or number two, it's going to cost you a lot more money because they're actually going to have to deconstruct the piece and then put it and then put it back together for your sizing. OK, so this, those are just a couple of tips. So it is Saturday and then this video will go up when I have actually gotten the pieces back. So it is Saturday and it is the 12th. So I actually have a doctor's appointment or a dentist appointment on the 
14th, which is Monday. So that is actually in North Carolina. Y'all know I moved to South Carolina. So I'm going to go to the dentist. I'm going to hang out with my mother. I'm going to get my car service and I'm actually going to drop off these pieces that I'm going to show you to the tailor. I have not found a tailor here that I like. So I'm going to take all of my clothing that needs to be tailored and two pair of shoes that the tabs need to be replaced. So I'm going to show you those pieces before and then when I get them back, I will film and show you after, okay? I have five pieces to show you. I do have one piece, which is the sixth piece, which is four, it's the exact same thing in four different colors. I'm only going to show you one because it's literally the exact same thing. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so for the very first dress, y'all have seen this several times. This is a fit and flare dress. This is the silhouette of dress that I feel best fits my body or one of them. So it fits right here. It is too big in the waist. So you can see that I'm able to pinch this right here. You can see I'm able to pinch it right here. So let me back up and show you. I want her to take it in in the waist and then actually I want a little bit more flare. So I will have her add some material on the bottom. Okay, so we're gonna take in the waist and then we're gonna add some more flair to the bottom. Next, so for this dress, absolutely love. As you can see, it is backless, it is fit and flare, and it is a handkerchief hem. So for this one, I'm going to have her take it up some, and then I'm actually going to have her add some boobies. If you don't know, I am a part of the Itty Bitty Titty Committee. Let me show you what I mean because she has done it for me before. So this is a maxi dress. It does not have like any inserts or like any push up, you know, for us, us itty bitty girls. So she actually inserted, let me see. She actually inserted some tatas for me, okay? Right here and then right here. So for this one, we're going to take this up and then we're going to add some tatas. Everything else fits perfectly. Next is going to be the exact same thing. This dress is absolutely beautiful, absolutely love it. It fits me like a glove. I got this from Beck and Bridge. If it is available, I will link it down below. It is a floor length maxi dress. Well, that's what maxi means. But for this one, same thing. I would like some tatas added, okay? I think it would just look better. So this one just needs tatas. Okay, the next dress, this is from Zara. It is also a maxi dress. I got a little excited and I ordered a small when I should have ordered an extra small. So there are a couple of things for this dress. I guess this dress was made for like model height, so like 5'10", 5'11". These straps are so long and it's sitting so low. So I want her to raise the straps. I want her to add some boobies because even right here you can see this is supposed to be up here. So we're going to take this in. And then I'm going to give you a full length on this side because there are some tweaks on the bottom that need to happen. So on the bottom right here, I'm gonna have to get some of this taken in, like right here. You can already see that that looks better. You pull that right there and you pull this up, it's already starting to look better. And then probably some of the hip is gonna have to, is gonna have to come out. Here is the side. And then here is the back. So for this one, we're doing some raising, we're doing some tatas, and then we're doing some taking in in the waist. Next dress, y'all have seen this before. Everything fits to a T, and actually I brought this to her before to take in the waist. So let me back up really quickly. Fits in the waist, fit and flare, and this is a maxi dress. This is the side, this is the back. So what do I want done? I want tatas. You see how this is like really flimsy? If I, you know, add some boobies, add some tatas, add some va va boom, it'll come out a little bit and it will look a little bit better. Cause right now it's just looking really flat and, and really not frumpy, but it's just looking flat and it's just looking like, I, I don't like the way it looks um, from the side either. It's just kind of like there. So if she puts in boobies, it will give it some definition. It will give it some structure. Okay. okay, so this is probably the piece that I am most excited about. If you saw my luxury wish list of 2022, y'all know that I wanted a Ula Johnson ready to wear piece and this is it in all of its glory. I stocked it for months and then it finally came on sale. So this is a small, all right? And if you remember from, I believe it was a video, I think in the beginning of the year, I told you that I was actually going to get like a pair of nude biker shorts because this is considered a tunic because as you can see right here is a slit. So let me back up and show you. This right here are the biker shorts 
I'm not really liking it like that. I still don't like it. So let's go ahead and just add this belt and see. Because the dispute was going to be whether or not I was going to get some biker shorts and then just belt it because I love the way it looks belted or if I was going to close it. And I think I am just like y'all team close the slit. So let's go ahead and back up and take a look. Yeah, I think I'm gonna close the slit. And then what I will have her do, so I will have her close the slit, and then on this side, I'll probably have her take some of the material out because even with this belt, it's still looking a little big. And just like someone has pointed out, when you're talking about sweater dresses and when you're talking about thick material, it makes it look even more luxe when it forms to your body. So it's just a little too big. So for this dress, we are going to close this slit. And then on this side, it should be fairly easy because here is the seam right here. So she will just take some of the material out and she'll close it this way as well. And then she will close the slit. So. Let me show you all the last piece, and like I, sh like I said before, it is in four colors, so I'm just going to show you one of them. Okay, so lastly, these are from Aritzia. Every single time they make them in a different color, I get them because they are so warm, so soft, they are so chic, they are staples in my closet. So, I love everything about this. It is cropped, it does have a little bit of a dolman sleeve. I also have it in gray. I have it in cream and I also have it in black okay the only thing that I do not like about these is how wide the turtleneck is and remember earlier I was telling you about small tweaks that can instantly up chic or make a or make a piece look better so what I want my tailor to do and more than likely she's either gonna have to come from this seam right here or come from this seam right here or she might, might have to make an incision in the back what I want her to do is I actually want her to close this a little bit more. Now I back up and you can instantly see how much better, that small tweak, how much better this looks instead of it just flapping over like this because it looks very odd. And I don't know if, you know, I'm not sure why it's this wide. Maybe it's to actually get it over your head, but then it just kind of looks funny sitting right here. Okay, so this, or this and it doesn't have to be like choking me it doesn't have to be like this I just want it to be a little bit tighter so that way and you probably can't see it because of you know what's going on right here with my arm but of course like I said before I will show you before and afters but to me that looks significantly better okay so now that I have shown you all of the pieces I am going to send these to the tailor on Monday so today is Saturday I'll be going on Monday and then once these pieces are back from the tailor I will show you the after okay two more things I almost forgot uh, shoes I need to go to the cobbler so here is one pair of Christian Louboutins if you don't know they do come with an extra set of taps or you can actually go to any store that sells them and they will actually give you an extra pair of taps. So my extra taps are in here. And then yes, I cracked this one. So this is how the shoe looks. And then right here, you can see that is, let me put this box down. So you can see how it's like leaning like that. If I show you, if I can get close enough, you see that circle? That's the bottom of the shoe. So this tap actually needs to be replaced. As a matter of fact, you see what I just did. That needs to be replaced on both of them. And then on these, here are the extra taps right here. And then on these, yeah, you can start to see that hole forming. And then on this one, you can already see it. So when I'm walking, it's like that metal tapping sound that I hate, like that. You can see that circle right there. So I'm gonna get these fixed as well. Okay, so this is the first piece. I will put pricing down here and then I will just quickly remind you with each piece what I had her do. So for this one, this first dress is the CMEO Collective dress and I remember I had her take in the waist and then I had her add a little bit more flair to the fit and flair dress. So I will go ahead and back up. So as you can see, it fits much better in the waist and then she did add a little bit of material on the bottom just to give me a little bit more fit and then flair, okay? There's the side. 
and then here is the back. So as you can see, it fits much, much, much better. I love the way that this looks. Um, it could be a little bit more flared, but that's fine. It's still a little bit big in the waist, but that's fine because as y'all know, once I get back in the gym, I am trying to gain anywhere from 10 to 15 pounds. So this dress will still be able to fit. But I love the way that this came out. So remember we had the waist taken in and then she added a little bit more material to the fit and flare dress. Okay, so next, this is, I guess, what we'll call a Tata's dress. I had her actually put Tata's in. I can see a difference, and y'all know I'm doing the split screen. I can definitely see the difference. My only concern is this right here, and then when I turn, you can actually see this. So this just needs a little bit of tweaking, but other than that, I think it came out really nice. Here's the back. So aside from this right here, this one actually fits pretty nice. So if you see it from this way right here, and then if you look at it from this way right here, I can definitely tell the difference, okay? So with this one, just a little bit of tweaking, and tailoring is an art. So yes, I did try this on, and yes, she did tack them in, but sometimes there's going to be a little bit of more alteration that need to occur. So probably with this one, what she will do, because this is moving, she will probably actually take this up, and then this will allow this not to sag, okay? So this one just needs a little bit of tweak on this side, but on this side, I love the way, or I love the shape of that, okay? Okay, and we have another Tata's dress. So we have this dress, this is from Beck and Bridge. If it is still available, I will link it down below. This is new. So again, I can definitely tell the difference. Everywhere else, this dress fits me beautifully. Again, I love the silhouette. There's a little bit of cushion added. So here it is right here from the front. And then here it is from the side. I can definitely tell the difference. And then I will back up for you guys. Okay, so this was just a simple Tata's dress. Okay, so for this one, I had her do a couple of things. I had her shorten the straps because this was like all the way down here. I had her take this in. I had her add Tata's. So I can definitely tell the difference right here and then right here. And then I had her take in some of this it's a little extra material right here. So I'm thinking I'll probably ha have this one tweaked as well, just a little bit more. So let me go ahead and back up because I see the shape, but if I like that, I can see it even more, just that subtle difference. So let me go ahead and back up for you. but it is still way, way, way better than it was before. So I love the length. I love that she put this right here, did the tatas. Like I said, I'm gonna have her probably take in, not the hips, but the waist. As you can see as I'm doing that, and then like that, it looks better, okay? Okay, so this is another Tata's dress, and just like I can clearly see it, because I'm looking at it and I saw it in the mirror, and just like you can see, you can actually see the paddings. Aside from that, I will have to take it back so they can add black. Not really sure why they didn't do black to begin with, but that's fine. But I can definitely tell a difference, let me stand over here, just with the front silhouette and then with the side silhouette, I love it, I like the way it looks, you know. I don't need to be, you know, buxom, or I don't need to be, you know, it doesn't need to be huge. I, like, I wasn't, you know, looking for like a lift and then like, you know, all of this cleavage. Just something to fill out the dress a little bit more. Because for me, when I don't have like padding in, as you could see from this side, it was rather flat and kind of floppy and that just didn't look good. So aside from the actual pads being white and you can literally see them, I love the I love the silhouette. I love the way that it fills me out just a little bit more. So again, here's the front and then here's the side. Okay, you guys, so the moment I know I have been waiting for, I'm pretty sure you guys are too. So this, this is the Ula Johnson dress that I have been stalking. I finally got it. 
it was a little too big so i had her come in on the sides right here and then remember we voted and we said whether or not we were going to close the slit i bought the biker shorts just to kind of see if i liked that look and we decided that we did not so i had her close the slit so i'm just going to kind of back up and show you what it looks like and then i'm going to just add a couple of accessories just to see and i actually had to like put my bouffant back together putting this dress on so if you see like pieces falling down or twists falling down that's why so she had came in a little bit right here because it was really big and then i believe the slit was on this side so there is no longer a slit it is a full dress now she still kept the hem i love that and then this is this side okay so and this all this also gives me room to gain weight in this dress so first we will just take this i think this is from express i've had this from for a very long time i want to say this was bought in college okay so we have this one loving the way that looks and even with just the little subtle details with closing the slit and then taking it in a little bit it still looks much better it looks like again that it's been tailored for me so let's go ahead and back up So I'm also thinking like kind of a skinnier belt will work as well. And then of course, y'all know what I'm getting ready to try on with it. My tried and true Loewe, just to see. Y'all know I have to try this belt on with, with any type of dress. So let's just see what it looks like really quick. because there is so much going on with this you have the turtleneck you have the sleeves you have the little balls then you have the intricate details i'm thinking that because the dress is very over the top i'm thinking just a belt like the simple one that i wore so something like this or like maybe a skinnier one or it could be slightly thicker as well i'm thinking something simple since the dress is just so over the top i'm thinking a simple belt will do okay but i absolutely love this i love that she closed the slit and i love that she took some in on the sides okay and again it will give me some room when i am planning to gain the weight but yes I love this, okay? So let me show you the last piece. The last piece are the four turtlenecks. I'm just going to show you one because literally all she did was just close them, but I just want you guys to see the difference. Um, like I've been saying before, when it comes to tailoring, little tweaks can make a world of difference, okay? Okay, so remember you guys, I have four of these. I had the camel colored one. I showed y'all one that one. I just wanted to keep it consistent with this one. I also have it in gray, I have it in black, and I have it in cream. When I tell you I am loving the way that she did this I am even loving the fact that this scoops and it comes like a little bit higher on the sides and let me just slide over a little bit so you can see the difference I mean and this is just a small tweak but you see how much chicer how much put together how much more put together this looks okay here it is from the side and then here it is from the back but I love this more than likely the other three are going to look exactly like this but it's all the way up on my neck it's sitting up it's not doing like that kind of fold over or flop over thing that it was doing before i love this and this is what i was referring to before when you start talking about tailoring and small tweaks okay because before it was folding over it was kind of like doing this roll thing and it wouldn't stay up and when i was at like football games and when i was you know at football games watching aiden play out my neck would be getting cold even though i had an eternal neck and i was trying to figure out why and it's because it was like just simply folding like all the way down and if i wanted to she did such a great job i could do it like this as well but i don't like that i like the the dramatic of it actually like literally coming down and then being like right here I'm hoping the other three look like this but I love it maybe it's not for everybody maybe they would wanted it to be a little bit more even because even right here it looks good but I love this okay 
So just a couple of things. There are three things that I am going to have to take back. Let me get them for you. And remember I said that tailoring is going to be an art. That's why you want to make sure that you find a tailor that you like and you want to make sure that you build a rapport with them, not this one. It's this one. Uh, because number one, when you bring it back for an alteration, they should not charge you. If you don't like something, they should not charge you to tweak it, okay? They shouldn't, they shouldn't charge you more. So remember the first one, we are going to have a little bit more of the waste taken in, okay? This one, it's not that one either. What am I doing? And then this one, I love the way that the silhouette gives, or I love the silhouette that it gives with the bra padding, but they need to be black. This one. So this one, we're fine with the padding. It's just that on this side, it actually needs to be brought up. So probably what she will do with this one is she will actually take up the straps and then she will push this one in just a little bit more. Okay. So those are the three that I do have to, to return. I have to go pick up my taxes from my tax guy in Charlotte. I haven't found anybody here in Fort Mill. So I will take those with me. I will drop those off. Also, I showed y'all two pair of shoes to actually get the taps redone. Her father, because it's a family business, it's a husband, a wife, and then their daughter. Their father during COVID, he's the cobbler, he actually retired. So now I am on the hunt for a cobbler in Fort Mill. But I just wanted to kind of show you the process and the price of tailoring. That's why I want you to think when you, when you are shopping or when you're thinking about tailoring, think about your price points. Think about what it is that you're wanting tailored. If you know in the store that it's going to have to be tailored, if you're in Zara and you absolutely love this piece, and the piece I would say is anywhere from like $50 to $70, Think about to yourself whether or not it's going to be worth it. Because as I was showing you these pieces, I was showing you right here what the prices were of them actually being tailored. Tailoring is not cheap, especially when you start getting into intricate details, beading and sequence. It's not cheap, okay? But whenever I go shopping, especially if I know something is not going to fit or if I want it to be tweaked a little bit, I always budget for tailoring, okay? I just want to remind you that here on YouTube, I do upload videos every Wednesday and Sunday. And then of course, you know right here, I will put my Instagram handle. Thank you so much for hanging out with me, you guys. Bye.